Hi, welcome to Red Ted Art. Today we're going to show you how to make this super simple slingshot using popsicle sticks and loom bands. Yep, loom bands. We've got tons of those. We don't always have elastic bands. So um, I thought we'd have a go using loom bands. So let's pop this one over here. What you'll need is we used eight popsicle sticks in different colours, but you know, obviously you just use the ones you want. We put four together, five, six, like this. Like that. And then we added some loom bands at the end. Now loom bands obviously aren't very strong, so because you're using these, you will need more than you would if you used normal elastic bands. But it's a great way um, of using up things that we've got, because we've got lots of loom bands at home. And I don't actually have that many ordinary elastic bands, so this worked out quite well for us. So tighten them like that. There we go. Then you take two more pieces, and on these ones, using a sharp knife. Now here you've got to be really careful, and you know do this with an adult if need be. You just cut little grooves into it, and the reason you do that is to help to prevent the elastics from slipping. So just some little grooves. They don't have to be very deep, but just enough to catch the, the loom band, so to speak. There we go. And then try and get them in exactly the other side. Again, as you're using something sharp, I've got a Stanley knife here. Be careful. There we go. There, actually, oh, actually, maybe a bit more. This is like the trickiest bit, to be honest. So a lot of people actually don't even do this step. Then you take another loom band and wrap it around. Now this time, you do need it really tight because this is going to be the springboard, so to speak. I'm going to put two lots around because I do want this to be secure. Here we go. Then you open it up like so. Slide in your kind of like board like that and then you're going to have to secure it again with more loom bands again this is where you add lots and I've only got a couple left I should have brought more over sorry oh there we go so I put you need to put lots and lots on because again loom bands aren't the strongest and you obviously don't want them to snap and in this case what you do is you use um, lots of them to give them strength, so to speak. So you've got your basic uh, catapult now, and this will already work, especially with things like pompons and marshmallows. And then the very last bit, just so you can make it bigger, is, and I'm going to take it off here because I haven't glued it on yet, just to show you, take a, a lid like this. You can also use a plastic spoon and wrap it around with loom bands. And you take a little bit of a hot glue gun. You could use normal glue as well, but that takes longer to dry. And might not actually hold as well because plastic doesn't stick with normal glue. Stick on your kind of like base like that and let dry. And now you're ready to use your catapult. Anyway, hope you enjoyed making this little catapult with us. And um, hopefully see you again soon on Red Ted Art. Have lots of fun. Remember, be careful with the knife and see you again soon. Bye.